Hi, my name is Bruce, and this is the fourth lesson of my C++ tutorial. In this video, I will talk about what happens when you build a program. When you are finished coding a program and tell CodeBlocks to build your code, there are three steps that happen which turn your source code into an executable program. These three steps are the preprocessor, compiler, and the linker. We're going to briefly explain all three of these steps. The first step is the preprocessor step. During this step, any preprocessor directives found in your code will be handled. A preprocessor directive is any line of code that starts with a pound sign. Looking at this sample Hello World program from an earlier lesson, we can see that the very first line of code, right here, is a preprocessor directive. It says pound include iostream. Because this line begins with a pound sign, it is a preprocessor directive. The preprocessor will see this line and carry out what it is ordered to do. In this case, it is ordered to include a file called iostream. When you installed code blocks on your system, you also installed the C++ standard library. The standard library has many files, iostream being one of them, and I'm going to show you that. So over here I have my my computer open and I'm going to browse to where we installed code blocks and show you that the C++ standard library came with it. So I, I installed it in stuff, programs, code blocks, mingw, include, and it gets a little deep with folders now. Ash not include, it's lib, gcc, mingw32, for, yeah, 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 include. Here it is, C++. And when we look in here, we see that there are many files that come with the C++ standard library. And somewhere in here should be the iostream file. There it is, iostream. And when we open that up with Sublime, we see that it's just a bunch of code written by some other programmer for us to use. The pound include directive in our program will basically take the contents of that file and replace this line here with the code of the iostream file. So it would, I mean, our program would look a little messier, but it does exactly what it was told to do, which is to include the iostream right here. So that is what happens during our preprocessor step. All of our preprocessor directives are handled. There are other directives other than pound include, some of which I will cover in future topics, but for now, just understanding what the pound include directive does is good enough. The next step is the compiler step. During the compiler step, all of our source code is interpreted by the compiler, which then attempts to build our code into machine language that our computer can understand. If there are no errors in your code and the compilation is successful, you will find that the compiler has generated object files that will be used in the next step. So here's our Hello World program, and I'm going to build it, and then I'm going to show you what gets generated. And over here, I have our Hello World project open. Here's our two project files, and here's our actual source file, main.cpp. So let me build it real quick. Build. And over here, you see that it generated two folders, a bin file and an object folder. We're going to go into this object folder, debug because that's what we built it in, and we see that there's a main.o here. Uh, the .o stands for object. If our code had been more complicated or contained many source files, we could expect to see multiple .os in this folder. However, because our program is a simple hello world program, the compiler only needed to generate one .o file that will be used in the next step, the linker, to create our final program. So I'm going to back out. The final step is the linker step. The linker takes all of our object files generated by the compiler and combines them into one fully functional executable program. So I showed you that in the OBJ folder are our object files that were generated by the compiler. Well inside the bin folder are going to be the final program generated from all of our object files by the linker. So let's go into the bin. We built this in debug. And here we see, sure enough, is our hello world.exe. And this is the program that we see when we tell code blocks to build and run our program. It builds it, this executable gets created, and then this executable gets run for us to see the output. This concludes the tutorial.
now that we have a better idea of how our programs are built, on the next tutorial we can get back into coding. Thank you for watching.